Hello, I am the critic. I remembered soon. Have to. I am here to ruin your day. Figuratively, of course. Today we're going to talk about Yellow Skin Wacky Man. A.K.A. A.K.A. The Creeper. For those of you who don't know, The Creeper was especially made, not just for the animated series, but as an all-time superhero. A known reporter, because, you know, people hate reporters. One Jack Ryder, who would usually get into Batman's hair, or Bruce Wayne's hair, about whatever they wanted to know. Usually, he usually went through Batman, because everybody wanted to know what Batman's identity was, and, you know. He would also go along with Vicky Vale as a daily news reporter. Usually, not, either if Vicky wasn't getting into his hair, Jack would. So yeah, basically, Jack Ryder basically gets a little bit of irony. And I'm telling it from the animated series' point of view. Where the Joker says, hey, you want to see how it actually happened on Bat... How, how Batman made me? Because he tells a lie about how the Joker was, well... Created because, because, well, he's Jack Ryder and he's like Cartman from South Park. That's the best analogy I can think of. He is Cartman from South Park. So he gets pushed into a vat of acid. His skin becomes yellow and he has green hair like the Joker. And he calls himself Yellow Skin Wacky Man. Or the Creeper. And he has a red feather boa. Just wanted to let you all know that. There's a great origin I will put in the video below, along with Mojo Jojo's version of The Creeper! Which is also based on a 1930s radio show called The Man from the Thing. Or The Thing from the Black Lagoon. Yeah, that's where that book title came from. So yeah, that's all your friend The Critic has to say this week. Tune in next time... Where you people get to tell me what I should review. Good night, everybody.